Okay, here's the plan now. Uh, what I want to do is, uh, this is actually the stern part of it. What I want to plan, what, I, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start back here until I sort of get used to getting in and doing the details. Um, I'm hoping that I'm not going to get too much overspray onto the side here, so, and I'm also hoping that I'm not going to be getting my airbrush and, or my hands in your way so that you can't see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to readjust the camera and we'll sort of zoom in on this area right here. When I first started to spray there, I had the pressure set to about 20 pounds and nothing was happening. I reached over and increased it to 25 and it immediately started. Oh, I got it a little bit too thick there, didn't I? Got too close, I guess. Okay, I'm going to reposition everything here now.
Well, I do believe we got all the planking. I think it's going to be okay. A few hours has passed now, and I think this is about as dry as it's going to get. I don't think it's going to look any different a week from now as it does right at this moment. And I know it looks a little bit blotchy, but if you watch, the blotches seem to move <laughs> as the light changes. I don't think it's too blotchy. I think I pretty much got it even all the way around. At least I hope I do. Now I remember when I was painting, there was a couple of places, in fact I commented on it, that, oh, I put it on too thick. And I believe there was right around here, and then again over here. In fact, it was, it was so heavy, it was almost, you might say, slumping. Because if you remember, this piece was laying on its side, more or less. But right now, I can't, I can't even tell where that is, so they when all the moisture did evaporate out of the paint it did conform to the uh, you know to the the way the decking is in other words it didn't fill up the cracks okay I'm just kind of looking this thing over now do I need to give it a second coat now I, I realize that it does look a little bit thin here but then where the planking is it's okay same thing right here it's, it's thin here but then I'm going to be covering this all over with some sort of dark gray later anyway. Is there anywhere that it, you know, on the planking that it looks like I can see the plastic through and, and I can't see anywhere where I can see that. All the planking looks good from what I can see. So I'm not going to uh, take a chance and uh, put a second coat where I don't need it. It doesn't make any sense at all. As I've said before, the more paint you put on, the less your detail is going to show through. Um, and uh, that was the idea of cover covering these things over with, uh, with the masking tape so that the, uh, the little handles and so on would be as pristine as possible. Anyway. Okay, I think this is probably the last place here that I... I want to make sure I get covered properly. Now, places like right here, where the uh, where the detail is rather bold, I'm not too worried about losing that. It was just that really fine detail, the hinges and the handles on the tops of the hatches or whatever, or boxes or whatever they happen to be. Okay, I want to do a bit of a dry run here. I, I like to spray with my right hand if I can, although I, I can also use my left. So if I'm spraying with my right hand like this, I would sort of want the camera looking in like this. I mean, that's... I would think that would be the best, so that means the camera should be over here looking this way. However, maybe I've got everything just a little bit too close to me here. I will move this back just a little bit. Okay, now I want to make sure that I can keep everything in front of the spray, the center of the spray booth because it draws the air in like this. Okay, so we can, we can do this section. Okay, now we can do this section. Now from your perspective you may not see that I'm you know, I've got everything lined up. Now we do this section right here. My hands are right now directly in front of the spray booth, even though it might not look like that. Okay, and then we can do this. And now we can do this. And uh, where is the bow going to be? The bow is going to be just, oh yeah, lots of room away down there. And for that viewer who hates the fisheye lens, well, you know where the fast-forward button is. Okay, let's, uh, 
You know what, I think maybe I might be better off starting at the stern and working my way up to the bow. So we could just start right here. Um, let's, oh, this has come off on me already. How did I do that now? Oh boy, here we go again. Okay, we'll we'll fix that up in a minute. Let's find a good place to put the camera. I have missed a piece here. But because these little bolts or rivets or whatever they are are so close to the edge of that plate, um, I don't know if I can cut a piece of uh, masking tape to just cover just strictly the plate. Um, I'm going to just take a chance and leave it and see what happens. Now this painting scene, it runs on for about 12 minutes, maybe a tiny bit less, but not much. I don't speed it up and I don't cut anything out. So if you don't like this sort of thing, well, you know what to do. And if you do like it, well, you're welcome.
see here where I failed to cover up some of the hatches.
think I'm going to let that dry and then uh, give it a second coat maybe. Well, I did pour a little bit back out of the cup after I was through. Not very much, maybe only a milliliter. And uh, what did we conclude this thing weighed when it was, uh, when I, after we thinned it out, was it about 54 or so grams? And this is the one that we added the thinner to. It's, so we added about, uh, oh, it looks like about four uh, milliliters there to it. So we'll see what it is now. 41.5, 41.6. So we used about 13 milliliters. Is that, does that work out? Yeah, about 13 milliliters. So there's not very much in there. And I, I bought uh, three of these, if you remember. I only needed the one. Now, mind you, I was going to say there is the Rodney, but then when we get to the Rodney, I might have talked myself into buying, uh, you know, a wooden decking for it. But that's a long ways off. Anyway. I think we're pretty well done here for this episode. Uh, tomorrow we'll take a real close look at the deck after it's had a chance to dry properly and we'll you know, look at it really good like we did at that part earlier in this episode. Uh, anyway, I'm starting to get tongue tied here so I think it's time to wind her up. Thanks for watching and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.